Hey! Hey everyone, welcome in! Hey, welcome in. I'm going to show you my desk setup today. First of all, before we go any further, please hit the subscribe button and the like button below. Uh, welcome back to Sister Coat's channel. We are going to be taking you through our desk setups today. We, you got a little bit of a sneak peek in our morning routine video, but we wanted to take a step back, slow down, and kind of walk you through the different components of our setups. As you can see here, I have a sit stand adjustable height desk. What's really nice is it actually pre-programs the different heights so I can have up to four different heights at any point in time. Um, and then there's a really handy lock feature so that I don't accidentally bump it. I actually did that once and busted my webcam. Um, so really, <laughs> luckily Ashley got me a replacement webcam for Christmas. Um, but this is a glass tabletop, which is fantastic for when you need to whiteboard out different coding problems or things like that. Not as great for mouse sensitivity, which is why I have this mouse pad here. Um, I also choose to have my MacBook Pro off to the side, and then I have my 27 inch HP monitor here that's connected through an HDMI cable. Um, I know there's kind of cords all over, that's because it's hard to mount one of those cord manager baskets onto a glass tabletop desk, but that's one of my outstanding to do's. Um, I also have, a sunlight lamp that I can turn on for additional lighting um, and then I have my ring light here so my ring light is great because it also sits above the webcam on my laptop which a lot of times I'll use this sometimes I'll use the additional webcam it just depends on whether I'm doing work on my personal laptop or if I'm doing work over here um, and I kind of go between the two um, one of the really nice things about the ring light is that, as you can see, there's lots of natural light in here, but it does get dark really early in the winter time. So I can turn on my ring light. It's got three different temperatures and I can kind of cycle through those and find the right brightness and kind of adjust it as I need to. Um, you'll also see that I have a standalone Bluetooth keyboard and trackpad here. So I like to use this, especially when I'm working on my monitor so that I'm not typing off to the side. Um, these do take AA batteries though, because they're cordless, uh, wireless. So I've been using rechargeable AA batteries, um, just you know, be a little bit more eco-friendly. I keep an extra set here charged up in case one of them dies um, at any given point in time. One of the things I like the most about this is it comes with the command key, which is very central if you have a Mac. I know a lot of people choose to have mechanical keyboards, whether they're Bluetooth or USB, but honestly, without that command key, I just, I have spent so long on the Mac OS, it's a lot to relearn all of the equivalents on a new keyboard. Um, and also, I wanted to keep things wireless because when, once I get my HDMI plugged into my MacBook, I've got my power cord here, sometimes I'll have my webcam and I have a USB powered mouse. So depending on what I'm doing that day, um, there's not always room for additional um, things to be plugged in here on my Mac. And I am strongly resisting having to get any kind of external hub to increase the devices that I can connect to my computer, which is why I've chosen to have both of these be Bluetooth. I will say one additional challenge that I have, I think it's purely due to this being a 2014 model, is that the Bluetooth has a really tough time supporting more than two connections. And my headphones do happen to be a Bluetooth connection. So once I have my head headphones connected to my Mac, I do have to disconnect manually the keyboard or the trackpad, otherwise it comes in really shaky. It's a kind of a quirk of my setup, um, but you know that's definitely something to keep in mind if you're looking at you know using USB keyboards and trackpads with an older model of Mac in addition to some kind of headphone. So one of the things I wanted to talk about are the challenges of getting a setup in such a small space. We do live in a cabin in Vermont, as you can see by all of the wood surrounding us, mm -hmm. um, and it can be really challenging to carve out a really nice setup, especially when you're working under those space constraints. Like I mentioned before, when I did raise this one time when it was set to old presets, I ended up busting the webcam that was on top of my monitor mm -hmm. and I did slightly damage my monitor mount, which was not ideal. 
I will say there are a couple of challenging things about having a glass desktop. Number one, obviously you want to make sure it doesn't chip or get damaged because then you could have glass shards everywhere. A second thing is it's really hard. You can't find like a typical desk clamp to use as a monitor arm due to the fact that it's glass. You can't have all the pressure of supporting the monitor in one spot. I think they've now updated it to make different clamp arms, but you know, I just really nervous about damaging the desktop. Um, and so I've chosen to leave mine on the stand and these monitors are definitely older. I've had this all through college, but I really like it. I like having a single monitor, at least for right now. Um, and I also end up using my computer as like its own display on the side. But one of the challenges is that this is a fixed mount monitor. So it doesn't raise or lower. It doesn't adjust. It allows you to get a little bit of tilt, but that's why it's propped up on this lovely GMAT book <laughs> to try and get it closer to eye level, which is really what you should be looking for. So you don't like strain your neck or anything like that. And then the last thing, which is probably the most important in my entire setup is what I'm standing on. And it is this ergonomic, it is this ergonomic standing mat. It's an anti-fatigue mat. And this is actually super, super important when you're standing all day because your feet are going to feel it, especially even when you're on carpet, any kind of hard floor. This is just really cushiony, really helps support me when I'm standing. So speaking of ergonomics, it's really important not just to make sure that your monitor is mostly at eye level. I mean, I'm working with some height constraints here because I don't <laughs> want this to get close to the top of these built-ins. But um, another really important thing is the height of the desk, especially when you're standing. So you really want to look for like roughly a 90 degree bend in your arm when you're standing at your desk, which is what I've set mine to. Obviously, it's a little bit lower here just due to the space that I'm working with. Um, but that's also really important to make sure that when you're typing that your wrists are at a really good position and they're not in, you know, some kind of funky angle. Um, and it's really important to, rem to remember that, especially if you're looking for a sit stand desk, make sure it's adjustable so that you can find the setup that works best for you. I happen to stand all day. So, you know, once this desk goes up, then I'm ready to rock and roll for my day at work. One of the last things about my setup that I absolutely love is that it has a drawer, which pretty messy but that's the nice part is I can kind of throw everything that I need to in here I've got an extra phone charger I've got a stand a little mouse these are my headphones I think I've got two um external hard drives being a content creator you know that is <laughs> comes in handy super well got a stress stone that Ashley gave me for Christmas mm -hmm. I mean just all sorts of miscellaneous things um and then of course can't forget having a really good basket for all of my multicolored pens and pencils that I use throughout my day when I'm, you know, putting things into my passion planner. Um, and this basket was actually multi-purpose from a Bath and Body Works uh, soap <laughs> set. So always looking to reuse stuff where you can um, so that you don't have to waste it. Thanks so much for taking a look at my desk setup and let's go check out Ashley's. Hey everyone, welcome in. So this is my desk setup. Um, as you can see, I have one of our sister codes YouTube videos up over here. Um, but yeah, this is my desk. It's a sit stand desk, just like Kaylee. So you can just raise and lower it using this on the side. Super nice. I usually start off my mornings by sitting and like having a cup of coffee and letting myself wake up first. And then I will eventually move to standing. I have a standing pad here as well, just like Kaylee does. Um, and yeah, it's a little messy underneath as you can see because of all the wires. I also haven't found a wire organizer yet that I like um, and that I've picked out. So yeah, also something to do. But yeah, these are my two monitors. So these are both 24 inch uh, monitors from Dell. We will link them below. So if you're interested, I love the picture quality. Like it's so good. I've only had them for what, like three days or four days so far, <laughs> but they're really cool. Another thing that I really like about these two monitors is they have little holes in the back and so you can put the wires through and it looks a lot cleaner. So this one over here is just here because that's my um, HDMI to USB-C one and so it's just hanging out there right now because uh, my personal computer is log uh, plugged in. But another thing that I really really like about these monitors is that they have wall mounts on the back. So like the standard wall mount um, RHP, the 27 inch that Kaylee has doesn't have that wall mount because it's a super old monitor. So I looked for something that has that in case I ever want to do the, the mounted ones. Um, but another super cool feature 
Oh, I don't want to hit this one. <laughs> Another super cool feature is that you can rotate these. So if you want to have a vertical one, you can have it, which is super cool. I know some people really like this if they do front end work, like HTML files, CSS files that can get really long, um, like to turn them like this. I personally am not probably going to use it this way, but it's nice to know that you have the option. Um, they also go up and down super easily. So for example, Oh, and they also like tilt forward and back if you want to address that. Um, and then you can push them down if you want to really easily and then push them back up. So I'll probably always keep them elevated because I like, you know, being able to look at it directly and not have to look down, but nice to know that you have the option. So yeah, I was really interested in getting a really, really good screen like quality because on my last monitor, it always turned out a little bit um, like fuzzy kind of, like you could always see lines in the monitor and that really bothered me. So yeah, I love the picture quality so far and I haven't had any problems. And I watched a lot of YouTube reviews on these monitors um, before I got them. So yeah. That's it. That's all. <laughs> I wanted to talk a little bit about my setup and why I have like wired stuff versus Kaylee's wireless. That's because I have the new MacBook Pro, it's the 2020 one, and that MacBook Pro has USB-C ports um, and it doesn't allow for Bluetooth just because my work computer just doesn't allow that, um, so I have to have wired stuff. This is my Magic Keyboard and then Trackpad. These are older versions, so there isn't a numeric pad over here, and I'm actually going to do a review about that because I didn't like having the numeric pad over here, um, but yeah, so I have to have these wired ones because like I said, the USB-C ports. I also have a Google Home right here and I love that for speakers because when you hook up your computer to the monitor, you can't have the speaker working anymore. So yeah, love that to play music. Um, and you can ask like, what's the weather like and things like that. Um, and then I also have a little candle over here because I really like to create like a nice workspace that feels really cozy. And then over here, I have my AirPods. Pro, um, which are super great for video calls. And then I also have my charging cord and then I have a little pen and pencil. Um, this is from Kaylee actually, <laughs> like a couple of birthdays ago. Um, and then I got this awesome present from my friend Marguerite and it's a little uh, desk organizer. So I keep my like work notebook, which is also from Kaylee. And then the passion planner, which is also from Kaylee. <laughs> Super cute. <laughs> Sounds like Kaylee gets you lots of gifts. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then also like a random glossy pouch because I just bought some fun stuff in there. Um, but yeah, I like I said, I really love this setup. I used to have um, like two monitors in my CS labs at school. And so it's really nice to have these. I just feel like it's nicer than one big screen because you have the separation. Like you can put your code over here. And then if you're messaging people about work, you can put it over here, emails and stuff like that. Um, currently I have it hooked up. So I have one HDMI cord to a hub because of the USB-C um, outlets on the MacBook Pro, which is something that's kind of annoying because you have to buy like converters for everything since it's USB-C. Um, and then for the other one, I just have it like a, an HDMI to a USB-C instead of the HDMI to an HDMI. And then when I am not working, like on the weekends, I will plug in my personal computer. So my personal computer is down over there so that I can still use the monitors if I want to. One thing I also want to talk about are things that I tried with my setup that didn't work. And one of the things is this laptop stand. So my work computer is a 16 inch MacBook Pro. And I thought that I could use that as a second screen. But when I actually put it up here, it really didn't work because it was so much smaller than my monitor. So I have an HP, uh, HP monitor, same as Kaylee, and it's a 27 inch. And so when you have the 27 inch next to the 16 inch, it just really didn't work. Like the text was so small and I increased it, but it still didn't work. So yeah, I am going to return this because it didn't work out for me. And I just decided that I would rather invest in two monitors. I know that sometimes software engineers can not want to spend money on their setup, but like the setup is the only thing basically that software engineers can spend money on. So you might as well like make it work for you and make it really nice. So yeah.
that's a little bit about my desk um and i have a bunch of posters and stuff like that i'm still in the process of making it really cute um and then also if you want to like zoom you can show this is like my background for zoom calls which is super super cute and it was a gift from my mom for my birthday she got me all these cool frames and then we put um artwork in it and i actually made um this one and this one and this one so yeah thank you all for watching please subscribe and like this video and we will see you next wednesday with a new video so one of the things that we wanted to talk about is what part of our desk setup is our favorite. Yeah, for me, it's definitely my desk. Mm -hmm. I've said this before, but I stand my entire work day and it has made the biggest difference, not just in my posture, but also how many times I take a break throughout the day, just constantly being on your feet and kind of shifting around, even though it's a big adjustment to get used to it is, is yeah, <laughs> it's, it's definitely one of my favorite parts about my setup. Um, even if everything else has its quirks, as long as I can stand, I'm, I'll definitely be happy. What about you? Um, it's definitely my monitors because I just bought my two new monitors. They're beautiful. Yeah, and it's so, <laughs> it's like life-changing to work on two monitors, I feel life -changing. like. Life-changing. Um, I do love the sit-stand function, but I cannot stand the whole day yet like Kaylee can. Yeah. Like I mentioned, like I have to sit for an hour in the morning while I wake up and I have my coffee. And then once it hits like 10 a.m., then I can stand up and then, but usually I have to take a break again throughout the day, like go sit on the couch or something. Well, yeah, but I think that's the nice part about it is mm -hmm. that you feel tired. So it reminds you that you need to walk away and take a break, which is it's why I choose point. not to have a chair. Because mm -hmm. if not, I feel like I'd be in the middle of working. I'd switch to sitting and then just keep working instead of going and stepping away and, you know, taking a walk or sitting down for a few minutes, which is really what you should be doing when your body is telling you that you're tired. But yeah, that's yeah. super true. Yeah. Um. So also, we're going to link all of the different um, Definitely. monitors, like our keyboards. We'll even link our computers, like in case Ring lights, y'all are interested. Yeah. Webcams. I mean, we've got Everything. tons of stuff that we've got on our setup. Today, yeah. So. We'll put all the links in the description. But please like this video and subscribe to see more content. We come out with a new video every Wednesday. Mm -hmm. So consistently on Wednesdays, there'll be a new Sister Codes video. So make sure you're subscribed. See you next week. Thank you so much.